I'm going to talk about how you can create a great podcast trailer that creates an effective hook for your show. A podcast trailer is essentially an elevator pitch to connect with your audience and let them know why they will benefit from listening to your show. In addition to using your trailer for promotional material, you can also use it to help get your show on the various streaming platforms. In order to get your show on the various platforms, you need an RSS feed, which will be created through your hosting provider. However, in order to get this RSS feed, you need to have at least one episode uploaded. Your podcast trailer makes for a great first episode to upload in order to generate this RSS feed. Try to keep it under a minute and a half. You want this to be short and sweet and just enough to hook the audience into listening to your show. Try to capture the message of the show as concisely as possible. Include music to engage the audience more. If your podcast introduction has music, you can use that same song in your trailer to create brand consistency. Listen to the music while you're recording. This will help your voice to match the energy of the music and sound more natural. Include a video asset alongside the audio for Spotify video podcasts. This can just be a video of you recording the trailer. This will give the audience more of an insight into who you are when you show the face behind the voice. Try to include the dynamic of your show in your podcast trailer. For example, if you have a co-host and you guys have great banter, then make sure to include your co-host in the recording of the podcast trailer so that you can demonstrate that relationship to future potential listeners. It can seem daunting to create a podcast trailer. To make it easy, follow this simple format. First, fade in your music. Then you want to introduce the name of your show, so people have the name of your show in their head right away. Next, you want to move into introducing yourself and anybody else involved in the podcast. Answer questions like, who are you? What's your role in the podcast? Why did you create the podcast? This is your chance to tell your story and show your personality to attract these potential listeners. Next, you're going to describe the show in a few sentences. What's the show about? What's your format? What can people expect to hear? And now's your chance to sell the show. Why should somebody listen to your show over another one? What makes your show special? Lastly, you want to have a call to action. Let people know where they can find your show and when new episodes come out. And then finally, fade out your music. Once you've written your trailer, then it's time to record. There are a couple ways to record your podcast trailer. If you want to include video content with your trailer recording, then the best way to do this is with Riverside's freemium account. You will be able to record both audio and video at the same time and download separate tracks to edit afterwards. You can also insert your music using our media board so that you can record your voice over top of the music to allow it to sound more natural throughout the recording. If you want to record audio only, some great free recording softwares are GarageBand and Audacity, and if you have a bit of a budget, you can look into Adobe Audition and Pro Tools. If you don't have a theme song yet, you can find great royalty-free instrumental music on websites like Artlist.io, Mixkit, and Adobe Stock Audio. So you've spent all this time creating an awesome trailer. What are some other ways you can use this content? You can reuse the script from your trailer to lead you in the right direction when you're creating an ad for your podcast. If you have video included in your trailer, then you can use this as your channel video on YouTube. You can resize the visual of your trailer and post it on different social media accounts. If you record on Riverside, you can use our clips feature to resize the aspect ratio of your recording directly on the platform so that you can re-upload it to TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. If you have a bit of a budget, you could also run this as an ad on Instagram and Facebook. You can embed your podcast trailer on your website. You can also look up different blogs and websites that have the same niche as your podcast. Send them your podcast trailer and see if there is a way that you can collaborate. It's easy to overthink a podcast trailer, but just follow along with these simple steps and you'll be able to produce a great one. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to be notified every time we post a new video. And if you want to know how to get started on creating your first podcast episode, then watch this video next where I'll give you actionable steps to follow along to in order to start your podcast.